Hi guys, today I'll show you how to configure a scheduled task to move files from uh, one location to another. We will move the files located on the report drive in the source folder to the target folder which is located on another machine in the same network. Uh, one important note to make is that both the source and the target folder have to be shared in order for the scheduled task to access them. So we just make sure that the source folder is shared. We go to reports, properties, sharing, and as you can see, this is shared. Um, we have to do the same for the target folder. This, however, is not shared, so I have to share it. We go to advanced sharing, check this, leave the share name as it is, permissions. In this case, I will grant uh, everyone full control. I click apply, ok, apply, ok, and this is the target network path, which can be accessed from the other server. Let's test it. So it was lab hyper v one c this is the admin share target. So yeah, this is ok, this can be accessed over the network. Now we will make use of a Visual Basic script in order to move the files from one location to another. I have already created the script, so I'll just explain to you guys. To create it, just go ahead and make a new text document. And write this. So you write create object scripting file system object move file we will, you will have to replace this with your own path so this is the path where the source folder folder is located and this is the path where the target folder is located we will implement this in our scheduled task to save it as a visual basic script you go to file Save as all files and we have to give the extension of VBS. Save. Okay. Just leave those. So you go to start and type in task scheduler. Open it. In the library, go create basic task, give the name, select when do you want the task to run. In this case, I will run it daily, so I go next. This is the time and the date of when this should start. I will leave it as it is for now. Action, it has to be start a program. Now we browse for the Visual Basic script, open it, next, finish. So now we have the task configured, we go to properties and we must make sure that this is set to run whether the user is logged in or not. Uh, this is basically allowing the task to run even if the user specified above here in this case is not active on the computer or is not logged in. Run with highest privileges if we want this task to run before everything else. I will configure it for Windows Server 2012 R2 because this is the version I'm using. Triggers. This you can. Uh, this is where you can edit the start date and the hour when this will start. I will set it to 22 occur every one day. Stop the task if it runs longer than say 8 hours. You want to stop it automatically, not leave it running if, it, uh, if there's an error or something else. So you make sure that this is stopped. I click OK here. Actions, we're all set here. Conditions. Uh, start the task only if the computer is on AC power. If you have a laptop and it's connected 
on the AC uh, the task will start but if you disconnect it as you can see here the task will stop so we make sure that this is not checked we have we need to run the task even if the computer is on AC or battery power on settings you have to make sure that this is checked allow the task to be run on demand this will allow you to run the task whenever you want and you don't have to wait for the schedule to trigger just click OK here enter credentials OK and we're all set now we just need to test this so I'm gonna have let's say uh, I'll just move this file to the reports folder source ok and run the schedule task to see if this gets moved to the target location which is on the other server so go run refresh as you can see the folder the file is not here anymore and it's here Alright guys, thank you for watching.